Aloha, welcome back to the Maui Ocean Center. My name is Jessica. I am the education director here. We are joined again by our lovely assistant, Ihi Maxwell, who's going to be joining me today in the wet lab. So we are currently in the wet lab right now, which is a very exciting place to be. Essentially, this is the behind the scenes look at the Maui Ocean Center. And we are specifically going to be looking at a very special animal that we have here at the Ocean Center, and that is our coral. So inside of this exhibit right here, you can actually see um, we've got a lot of different species of corals in here. And uh, they actually represent all the different shapes and sizes that we see here in the coastlines and the shores of Maui. So right over here in front of Ihi, you can see there's actually a almost a plate coral that's almost a, a lettuce coral that wrapping around is nice and flat. You can actually see the individual polyps in there. Uh, right next to it, you can see a digitate coral. That's that one right there. Um, and all the different sizes and shapes in between. Now, a lot of these corals are found in um, Maui waters. They are all found in Hawaii waters. So they're all native to Hawaii. But some of them are actually really rare species. So we have a lot of rare and endemic species or species that are only found in Hawaii. So there is one particular type of coral that I want to introduce us today. Um, and that is actually one of my favorites. It's called the mushroom coral. And it is very important to, uh, to use a mushroom coral for this next part because mushroom corals are actually large enough where we can actually see with our naked eye. We don't need a microscope in order to see everything. So if you get nice and close, you can actually get nice and close here, and you can actually see the different parts of the coral, um, which is very unique because on these other corals over on this side, we wouldn't be able to see the individual coral. But a mushroom coral is different, and that is because it is the largest coral polyp in the world. So it's the largest animal. And unlike these animals that all live in a colony, these are called colonial structures, this is actually a single animal living by itself. So if you get nice and close there, you can actually see there's like nice little green dots. Can you see those little green dots? Yeah. Those are actually the tentacles of that coral. And those tentacles um, are actually used to sting its prey and to be able to move that prey into its mouth for a feeding. So they're very, very similar to jellyfish and sea anemones in the way that they feed. They're actually closely related as well. They're in the same group called Cnidaria. So they've got those little green tentacles and you can see there's like these little, um, almost like openings in the center. And those openings are actually the mouth. So the mouth is closed right now, but here in just a moment, we're actually going to be feeding these corals and we'll get an opportunity to see what they look like. If they're hungry, they'll open up their mouths and they'll actually go for a bite. All right, aloha everyone. We are back in the exhibits and we are going to be demonstrating feeding a mushroom coral today. So just like all the other things that we've been doing uh, with our crafts, we are actually going to make sure that we have all of our supplies. Um, so we actually have a single glass dish with some salt water in it that came out of our wet lab area. We have it on a nice paper plate, one to keep everything nice and dry, but two to actually make it look, uh, make it easier for us to see with that nice white bottom on the background. We also have brought in some special yummy food. Um, we have right now on the menu is some squid. So these are actually some little calamari chunks. They are restaurant grade seafood. We only serve restaurant grade seafood here at the Maui Ocean Center. And then we also have some tweezers and this will be how we introduce our food to the, the bowl today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these tweezers and this will be able to um, this will help us to be able to grab onto each of the individual pieces. As you can see, they are very tiny. And we're gonna take one little pinch of some squid and we are going to bring it in. We're actually gonna dip it just beneath the surface and we are going to release. And then that coral will be able to feed. So our coral is now starting to open up its mouth. You can actually see in some of the footage um, that it's extending its mouth open and that little piece of squid is actually going down inside of its mouth. So this is actually a coral model. You can see this is the, these are the different parts of the coral. This is what we are actually seeing on the outside. So here's the outside body, here's the tentacles across the top. This is what we're seeing when we're feeding our mushroom coral today. But this is actually what the inside of a coral looks like. So if you look down here at the top, these are the tentacles that it was using to grab the squid and to move it into its mouth. And this is the mouth portion right here. So that mouth portion is actually where that squid is going into. It's gonna enter right here. 
Once that enters, it's going to actually go down into the body and into the stomach cavity, which is right down here. So these are different shapes and sizes of coral. This is a very tall coral, um, this model right here. But the demonstration that we're doing on a mushroom coral, you just have to imagine it would be a little bit shorter, this polyp. So it wouldn't have as far to travel. So when you're looking down inside of that mushroom coral, you can actually see right down into that stomach cavity. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you guys learned a little bit about corals and enjoyed our feeding presentation. And we'll see you guys back in a little bit for some more fun with Creature uh, Feature. Thank you.